love bugs just rousing back at you one more again i hope everybody is doing blessed i'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you and if this is your first time stopping by my channel much love to you and welcome and to my returning subs my growing extended beautiful family as always thank you so much for the love and support it's truly appreciated so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please you know drop a line i would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like the videos just gives you a really good vibe or uplift please go ahead and share it would be greatly appreciated and sending so much love and light you know just clearing the air protection love love upliftment just give you a blessing of a beautiful day you know as well as always I always tell my haters and my enemies hey this is all divinely protected and highly loved and very favored so if you're thinking about putting anything on me on my essence my vibe just my my ancestral signature hey is coming right back to you 10 times fold is that mine is going to be blessings upliftment love and light so you know hey namaste and god bless you you know hopefully you'll be able to hear something that you can be able to get into too um anyways the video i'm about to do today is called twin flame 101 hey okas do you resonate with the matrix twin flame i looked this up because i saw this on quora i think that's what it's called q u o r a um, and it'd be popping up on my email and stuff like that. And I was like, wait a minute, what's that? You know, I'd be listening to it and it'd be so many different times where, you know, you may, uh, you may have, um, not realized, but everybody has a twin flame. Everybody has a twin flame. There's sometimes we don't meet them, uh, in this lifetime. There's a lot of times that, you know, our, uh, our twin flame may pass over, um, or different things like that, but you don't realize even the ones that come out to be your false tw uh, false twin flame was actually your twin flame. They just refused to heal and didn't even know that. You know, it was just like so many different things that I was going. You know, that I was reading up on. I was like, wow, there will be so many different things. It's just where your light just irritates the heck out of them, and they do everything to keep you fall, fall back. They be very unread to you. You know, very combative. You know. Um, and a lot of times it's just like, you know, even when I was doing a lot of reading and I find out, you know, uh, my ex was my, my twin flame. And I was like, oh, God, are you serious? It's like we don't even, you know, our trauma hit mirrors each other. You know, our tragedy here, you know, mirrors each other. But now it's like doing so many healing and, you know, not even talking bad about him because I really feel like he was a blessing in disguise to me because it showed me so much of what I needed to heal from so many different things that I needed to allow myself to love myself have respect for myself not to allow myself to be manipulated and all those different things so it's just like I'm grateful for that situation I really do and not realizing that was like my matrix twin flame you know they don't want to um they feel like that's too much work you know um at times you know well it's to my opinion my mo you know I don't know I'm not in their head you know even though you may be able to sense people's vibes and stuff like that a lot of people feel like they don't need to grow they don't need to change their heel they're just fine on being you know just the way they are you have to respect that but if you know your your path has sent you to do a lot further you a lot of times you got to leave that trouble exactly where it is you got to leave that heartache exactly where it is wish them well and going about your business and keep going you know if it's meant for them to be on that vibration of a journey with you universe will make that see fit but if you're, sometimes you got to leave it there don't be holding yourself off waiting for somebody to change because a lot of times you waiting for folks to change and that's exactly what they wanted you to do you know and you have to be able to allow yourself to know no 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 keep moving keep going you know if it's meant to be god will make sure that'll happen but this is at your point where you know they came into your life and uh, you know if, if if it was the fact is that y'all been going through this a lot of times because there'll be sometimes it, it was even crazy because it'll be different uh vibes like if i see my grandfather in different pictures that i have of him and then i'll see different ones um where they kind of mirror each other back when they were both in the military and i was just like oh my god you know they look kind of alike now my grandfather be like rising white and do me big <laughs> i was like well i'm just saying because even sometimes i'll be looking at my dad and he get mad at me when i say it too that you know my mom's ex-husband they kind of mirror each other like right around this area because when they do it i'm like Ugh. you know this is kind of crazy but it's just like if i see different pictures of my grandfather it's just like it's really creepy i see my mom's ex-husband and my, my grandfather and they look just alike to me and that's kind of you know give me chills and stuff like that but it, it's just like different things that allowed me to really look at when we were dealing with our major 
Matrix Twin Flame. There's a lot of them where we feel like those are the false and not realizing we, you know, um, a lot of people feel like we only got one Twin Flame. That's not true. We're not. That's not true. Um, number one, Adam and Eve came up with the, two, you know, you, God made them start off the twin flames and then they came off from that so it's just like when you are on 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 a verge of stumbling on your your universal twin flame journey um you'll have different stages the unhealed versions you know it's just like it, it was a beautiful thing with me when i was able to meet my dad's ex-wife and stuff like that and i see different times where we have connected in different ways like when we met it was just really weird to me i was very excited she, you know she didn't know nothing about me and then when we stumbled onto it i started seeing different past lives i had with her and i'm like okay you know or different things that she may have thought about i'm like god please can you stop thinking about certain things like that because it was very 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 intense because a lot of you know i was sharing different pictures because i was just so happy you know cause it was just me finding out about my family who who my father was you know the different things that uh you know i was connected with and i didn't even know and it was just like people thought she was my sister like we had two different you know two different moms or two different dads and they thought we were sisters and i'm like no Oh, <laughs> that was my dad's ex-wife. You know, it was just very weird. But then it was just like, you know, I only thought I had one twin flame. And then it was just like universe is saying, no, you have different stages of twin flame. And then if it's meant, if they're still in, 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 in you know, into that transition of you're going in transition, not, you know, spiritual transition. There will be different versions of yourself of a twin flame that's unfolding that you have to meet. And a lot of times it's just like people are like, oh, Rosalind, I think I'm your counterpart. No, I'm not. I'm just that person that's supposed to help you get to that next stage of it, of different things that I may have been able to heal from and overcome. Or there'll be different things that you're teaching me as well that you have, you know, overcome that I may have not gone through that. And it could be female or male. It doesn't have to be romantic. But it'll be different things that you're meeting towards other people that you had to learn and grow from. And a lot of times that, that you were connected towards this twin flame and a lot of times there will be people like Rosalind in my life you know and different things like this because I've been fooled I've been you know uh bamboozled thinking this was my twin flame and I'm like please if anybody is still going through that because it'll be different people that I've met and I wasn't able to, and I'm hoping and praying they did not in their life but I no longer talk to them anymore you know and they were like I'm upset this is not your fault but you know God lied to me and stuff like that and it's like no he didn't you know, a lot of times these, when you were meant to meet this person, a lot of times that person is like, it wasn't their destiny at this time. It was fated for it to go this way because it's letting you know this twin flame was supposed to meet at that time, but it's not, they have not fully gone through their growth yet. They're, you know, they're still stumbling on it. They don't want to grow or they, you know, they, it was fated to go this way for you to be able to explore for bigger and better things. And this is that person that was supposed to kickstart that vibration of letting you know you're on your twin flame journey. It's just not with that twin flame that you were supposed to be with. That one was a faded twin flame of the matrix that you had to be able to deal with to break out that barcode of of the being in sleep mode because there's there's that one that probably have to go through another reincarnate and I'm like damn you know what I ain't trying to go through that mess anymore I have about five or six that gonna reincarnate I don't want to be here no more when I finish doing what I'm doing let that be let it be but it's just like do not go over the deep end when you're finding out that this person you thought this person was your twin flame they are even though if it'll be Rosalind it's like twin flames are not supposed to hurt they're not but you have to understand there is certain ones that are not ready to heal yet or just comfortable with being them because they feel like that's too much work. They don't want to be honest. They don't want to hold themselves accountable. They don't want to be, you know, they want to be able to do everything they can to destroy your whole image of yourself. But this is that that you don't realize. And I tell people all the time, whether it got something to do with twin flame or your enemies or your haters or your family done turn it back on you, your kids don't turn it back on you, all these different things. These are meant for a purpose to make you become better. You know, and it can hurt, but it gets to that moment where this is just like, you know, there. when I tell you there are so many different things that's coming to me to light about what my family has done, about certain people I would have never expected to do the things that they did. And they were like, Rosalind, how do you feel about that? Oh, it just makes me want to go harder. What? You're not hurt? No. 
I look at all the stuff that I've been through. You know, when people know my story, they already know. Damn, she don't went through the worst of the worst, and you still bringing more to her. It can't hurt me any more than already the stuff that already hurt. This is only making me know you must be on something good. You know, you have to be on something very good for you to have haters is going in that deep on you and they doing stuff on you every single day. And people that you would never even thought of that would have did some mess to you is starting to shed light like, hey, you know, spirit streets be talking. I'm like, spirit streets be talking. They be, they, they be telling you stuff. And it's just like, hey, I know I'm divine. I'm anointed. I'm highly favored and heavily protected. Ain't nothing going to happen to me that ain't meant to happen if it ain't going to be a life lesson or it's going to be to that next step of leverage that I didn't even prepare myself to go on. But it's going to be that mess that's going to break me but build me at the same time. So you're going to be grateful for when you go through that, that twin frame matrix because there's just some of them There was just reading on. I, you know, I just read a few articles about it so there may be more if you want to look it up. Because I was like, this ain't no such thing. no dang on matrix. Twin flame. And I looked it up and you see all these different things. I'm like, shut the front door. You know, so there were different things that was going on and it made so much sense to me. Because it was just like so many different, you know, videos I was watching. It's like, you were with your false twin flame. I'm like, please, that is making me want to just throw up in my mouth. Please stop saying that. But then it was just like, you know, I'm not trying to say that in the essence of my ex. But it, it was just like, you know, I'm like, okay. But I feel, you know, it, it's like I said, it's not a... It, it'll be a certain moment, maybe want to gurgitate, but there'll be a certain thing like, I'm very blessed for him. I'm very blessed for him. Regardless of what I hear, it comes back to me about what he said about me. I'm like, hey, <laughs> you know, I'm not going to say nothing bad about him. You know, re regardless of what I hear, it comes back to me. And I already know that this, that's just God telling me right there with my nose itching like that. I so I still wish blessings his way. You know, I'm not on to that thing. I want to go tit for tat for nobody. I'm over there. I've been there, done that. You know, you're going through different things where I can sit up here. Every person that you have gone through that creates some kind of pain, it brought purpose. Even it was a pause for that cause. That is something, some kind of blessing in line in what every every person you meet, whether it's good or bad, whether it's good or bad or not. And you have to be able to look at it like that because it, it came to that point where you know I used to always, you know, people was like one on one. I would say something bad about him. Or different things, or they, even they'll be on the phone, phone or video. Like, girl, is he starting up again? And be different stuff like that. And it's just like now, I'm just like I don't have nothing bad to say about my family. I don't have bad about to say about the folks that put me in my situation to try to out me, Di anything like that. Because it's just like when I say y'all gave me more power than anything. Like you know, it's just just like you being on a stage and you getting your Oscar, or you getting your Emmy, or you just getting one of those you know the, the the popcorn from the MTV Music Awards or something like that. The first thing you want to do is like I, I appreciate the people that supported me, but the most of all, I want to appreciate I want to appreciate my enemies. Because your enemies be thinking you the best thing possible. You the best thing since life's bread. Because if they didn't, they butts be sitting up here trying to cut you off. And not realizing those, those are the part of the matrix too. You know, I'm going through this journey. And what I'm telling you, oh my God, is, you know, it really is. So you're going through these different things. I said I had to get off of that because that was supposed to be a whole new content. So I said I had to cut that one off and go ahead and continue that on a different one. But, but for real, for real though. Different, your different matrix. Please look it up. You know, there's so many different articles I found about it. I, I said I don't have enough time and space for those daggone links. But look up matrix, uh, uh, twin flames. You recognize with that. You'll be different people that you thought you were fated with. You know, it was like with me and mine. You know, I had mommy issues. I had daddy issues. Abandonment, neglect. You know, different things. I, I, I mirrored with different people that had issues with their parents in some kind of neglect kind of way. But now it's just like when I look, you know, it was. When I look at my situation and the way it went down, you know, it, it can still be heartbreaking because of what what my truth is, what my story is. But I was just like, hey, if you know that story, you know it. If you don't, you'll know it eventually if you stumble up on it, whatever it is, what it is. But it, it brought me so much beautiful things in the world. The only thing I regret on the fact is I didn't meet my father, my grandparents, you know, uh, my uncles that uh, recently passed like a year ago or just a couple of months ago. My Uncle Johnny and my Uncle Alfred, I really love them. You know, they helped me out a lot. My, my brother Amir, you know, he's passed too a while back. But it's just the fact is just to be able to have his essence here with me as well. You know, and it's just like all those different beautiful things. Um, that has happened that I can really, um, I really appreciate my, my matrix, uh, 
twin flame uh, experience. I really do. Because it really has taught me so much about myself, so much about what I want in life, so much about what I don't want in life, and being able to appreciate everything that has unfolded in my life. And so if you're going through this moment where you just really are disgusted, both, both busted and disgusted about the situation, like I thought I was on a twin flame uh, journey and come to find out my twin flame was false. That's not true. You are, are actually on it. Every person has a twin flame, you know, uh, a twin flame journey. And um, everybody has one. It's just like when we notice that you, you can go in life like um, it, it was like everybody got a twin. It don't have to be twin flames does not always have to be romantic. And people feel that way. Everybody has to be romantic. It's not that way. You know, um, uh, there's a lot of people. It's like with me and my dad. Me and my dad are, you know, we were twins in a prior life. I was his twin sister that passed away. And, you know, and me and my dad, we look identical except, you know, I'm a little bit thicker and he's a lot lighter. So, but other than that, we just look, we look just alike. And people are like, Ugh, you know, this and this. I'm like, look, get get your mind out the gutter. It does not have to be romantic like that. You know, even though me and him has been husband and wife at one time. I've been his mom at one time. We've been best friends. We've been cousins. And then we've been twin brother and sister. But we've been wife. It, it was like uh, husband and wife like three times. And it was like twin brother and sister three times. And it was always a family member that was taking us out or killing us. And it was like very crazy. You know, I was like, dang, one of those dang old, uh what is it Clive Barker you know Stephen King Wes Craven type movie situation so yeah but if you're on that journey of that please don't 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 see it as a dreadful situation like God just lied on you and he just put you through a whole situation that got you you know just crushed your spirit trust me that that's it that's unfolding to something that you needed to know and it had sometimes it had to go through that way of being false to bring you towards the ultimate positive so I hope you are able to resonate with content of video like I said thank you so much for all the new subscribers that's been dropping you know these uh, uh you know hilarious uh, uh and as well as supportive comments i truly appreciate you uh wet jumper much love to you welcome to the fam amelia uh lennon much love to you welcome to the fam uh thank you for stopping by and time much love to you welcome to the fam uh the soul fam is greatly appreciated you know i'll leave all my contact information in the description box below as well um uh, just for, you know, spiritual networking, you know, just being able to speak up and talk about different things you may not be comfortable with talking about in your, in your familiar surroundings. You know, people may think you're crazy or just may not even understand you. And I, like I tell people, there is nothing I'm not surprised when y'all, I mean, when I've heard so many crazy things and it's not saying you're crazy, but so many things because we, we as Hayokas hey have gone through some really out there stuff. And we really have gone through out there stuff. And I'm like, what? You've gone through this? You've gone through that? I'm like, wow, I thought my stuff was crazy. Yours is like, you know, you make a whole novel off yours. Like, yours is a lifetime. Yours is a novel. We could even conjoin them both together. That's how crazy it can be. But just being able to speak amongst each other and being able to help each other out, being a part of each other's purpose on support and healing is so much of a blessing. You know, we're, we're strengthening our soul family. You know, there's so many of us out there just now starting to find out about who they are. You know, people are like, Rosalyn, I don't know if I'm a, uh, uh, if I'm a hey okay. I say, if you have stumbled upon my videos of being a hey okay and you have been some kind of something kind of pulled you into watching them. You're a hey oak and you're just finding out more about yourself. And you're going to stumble up on something to know. Because, I mean, Universe has had me doing these videos for, like, what, three years now? So, I don't know how many videos I, out there I got about hey oak. It's probably about close to a grand. You know, it's like, it's like 1K, 2K. I don't know how many. But, yeah, there's a lot of them out there that you may be able to be familiar familiarized with. So, you know, whatever it is. But, like I said, I'll try to help out the best way I can. Um, and being able to, when we speak on it, it'll be in pure confidence, you know. Um, and just being able to help each other. I really feel like that's a blessing of purpose to be able to help each other. Just be on that same vibe. Like, you understand me. The effed up in me, recognize the effed up in you. And just being able to be on that beautiful vibe. Uh, just knowing there's somebody who understands that vibe of ultimate beautiful craziness that we have. And when we do things ass backwards and, you know, just do it in 
in a, a, a humorous way is truly a blessing <laughs> so be able to do that so I try to help out the best way I can if you're interested in my podcast I also have that in the community section of my my channel as well it's, it's along with the memes and you know uh, just upliftment of uh, you know po- posts that I have positive posts that I have as well as just friendly reminders you know food for thought you know we're all going through different things and you know you may be going through some huge ascension or you know psychic flus or uh, spiritual flus right now because it's like you know sneezing a lot your nose is like I notice like certain things I talk about my nose itch a lot and that's a presence from God like you're on the right you're on the right path or you're telling the truth one of the different things that you know is going on so I try to be able to help others the best way I can you know like I said I got memes on my community page you know empath memes you know just to be able to make you laugh i've been putting instagram instagram i said instagram uh instagram shorts on here as well just give you a good laugh or just to purify your energy just give you an uplift for the day from different people you know i'm always trying to make sure i put their creds out that you know i'm using different people's uh you know um videos and uh, you know unless I'm using my own you know because they may be uplifting to me and just being able to share that with other people to make them have a good laugh today you may be feeling crappy you go on my page you gonna find all type of stuff on there just to be able to make you laugh you know I have one on there where you know that, that somebody brought a lizard to school you know one of the adults did you know I don't know what they were doing just showing different reptiles and stuff like that and when I tell you it like the gecko went hauling ass like his life depended on it that mess had me laughing you know and it was just really funny on, on top of different things it's like when they said the one where, where God opened doors and you see this little girl just open the door and I don't know how it would have been me you would have seen me flinging up in the air somewhere but that baby had a death grip of that door that door came swaying open and I mean it got a lot of views just for that but I, you know I, I understand that God will open doors for you and it will shoot the mess out of you and just being able to do it but I said I'm so glad that baby was okay like oh my god because that baby had a death grip on that door because I, I was like I was prepared like oh my god please don't let this baby get hurt but thank god she didn't get hurt but you know all those different things but you know know your potential stay woke you know all those different things oh yes and if you feel like being generous enough to drop a donate donation cash app is there at the bottom as well in the description box below but whatever you're trying to bring into your manies you're trying to manifest I'm, I'm sending you whatever vibes you need you know a million times fold you know maybe you need to be consistent maybe you feel like giving up you know a lot of times the things that you know universe universe and god is placing on your path it's not going to be easy to open those doors for you sometimes you see people that may, may feel easy but you don't know what they had to sacrifice you don't know what they had to change you don't know what kind of perspective or just imbalance they had to go through to have those doors open so you know a lot of times we'll, we'll be walking you be judging folks on that chapter 10 you, you know you're judging on that you can't judge on chapter one when you're walking in on somebody chapter 20 you can't be able to do that so you know allow yourself to keep going stay woke you know you truly have a purpose here you you, you know whatever you're embarking on is really going to impact the world in a very big way because you usually folks when they see a potential in light in you they're gonna make you second guess yourself they're gonna make you feel like your dreams are too big and you this can never happen for you now to be people you don't take advice from people that give up on their dreams or really just their their dreams is trying to be able to you know flabbergast somebody else's or block theirs you know that that's a lot of times folks be trying to do that because they see potential in you please go ahead and keep moving you know keep doing what you're doing because you know the enemy and 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 your enemy and devil really truly see your light and potential and they want to dim it and make you give up in any way possible you could be having doors five doors open up for you tomorrow so they don't try to give you give you up for you to give up today so you keep on going okay so much love to you peace a namaste, a namaste i said a namaste namaste <laughs> much love god bless us I, I say shalom you know if you're um even in social distancing please make sure you give out love like you know positivity words vibes, frequencies you know that can really take somebody a long way and just because you're doing that just for no kind of applause or cause at all for any kind of motions or you know motives or intentions you know it's going to take you even further much love to you peace